On today's video, I'm going to share the three tools that I use when I'm working on websites to improve the user experience and more importantly, conversion rates. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, what is up? Welcome back to Flux. My name is Run Segal, and today I'll talk about UX tools. Now, we designers, we love building projects and products and websites from scratch, right? It's the most creative, it's the most fun. We love that. However, where most of the value in design really lays is in working long term and not just building the first initial version, because mostly a lot of the assumptions that we'll have are probably misleaded and wrong. And people are are not going to understand what we thought they're going to understand. So when you're working long term on the project, when you're actually reviewing how people actually use your website or product, then it, the real value comes because then you can improve the user experience, then you can improve what's not working. And the result of that will be better experience, but also more conversion. So more money or more goals achieved for whatever the product or website is is so let me share what we're using both for my business and both when i'm working with clients how do i work with them to make sure that we have great user experience and conversion rate so here are the three product number one is google analytics you've probably heard about it it's free it's common everybody knows about this yet it's so powerful and i think most people don't understand how to use this correctly or in you know harness the powerfulness of all of these analytics. So what do we use this for? First of all, we can understand who our audience is in terms of where are they coming from? What countries are they coming from? You know, what devices are they looking at or the website? What connection speed do they have? Because a lot of times, maybe we assumed everybody's coming from desktop, but they're actually coming from mobile. Have we thought, have we designed this website mobile first? Maybe they're on a bad connection. Maybe they don't even understand the language. So when you understand who your audience is, you can better make better assumptions and better design for your website. Then you actually look at behavior. So under audience here, we have behavior. We can see what pages they visit, but also what actions they're doing. So in Flux Academy, we've put up events so that we can actually understand how many people sign up for the newsletter, how many people you know click this button or check this page, because then we have the data to even understand what's working. Do they even do? Then we have actually, then we actually understand the number for conversion. What is the conversion rate, right? How many people actually do this? Now, the next step would be to understand how we can improve this or why this is not working. But first, you need the data. You need to even understand what's working and what's not. And the last thing that we use this for is to measure conversions, right? How many people actually buy? How many people actually do the thing? So then we understand conversion rates. Now that we have all this data, now we can start thinking about what to do with this. Now, by the way, do you know what else I use analytics for? I use analytics for my YouTube to understand what video works and what video doesn't work. And what I see is that if you do not click the like button for this video right now probably a lot of people are just gonna drop and not know the second and third tool so do this now let's move on to the second tool the second tool is super super powerful it's called full story it's one of my favorite tools ever right I'm not using this right now for flux Academy I think this is a little bit too advanced for where we are right now but when I was running Prospero I was using this extensively when I was using you know a, a digital product and you can see here a video where I review this this basically records the screen and shows you everything that people were doing on this website so are they scrolling where are they clicking and then you can you can even see live people right now how are they interacting with your product or website this is phenomenal and full pro, uh, full story um, created such an amazing interface that you can actually see and sort down kind of like I don't know if you can see this you should watch my video about me showing you how I used to work with this in Prospero you can sort down and show me people who clicked here or didn't click there and you can filter them so that you can see exactly how they're behaving you can play this as a video and then you really come to understand oh they were trying to look here when I actually put this thing over there 
then you can have a lot of insights about how to improve the user experience. Now, note, this is not, you know, you know the numbers because you've seen the number in analytics, but the full story, watching the actual video and screen recording in HitMap gives you the qualitative, um, you know, data, shows you what people are actually doing, not in the number, but in the story actually. And from then you can get the insight or a, an idea about how you can solve that design. So this is super powerful, by the way, this is not uh, a very cheap product. I think it was like a hundred dollars a month or something like this. But if you're running a business and improving conversion rate, even by a few percentage points, sometimes it's worth a lot of money for my uh, clients, then this is super, super valuable tool. The third tool is a tool for A-B testing. Now, right now I wanna show you Crazy Egg. Previously I was using Optimizely, but I feel like it became kind of like too, too expensive, too um, kind of like enterprisey like And I feel like Crazy Egg has a similar, similar capabilities and it's much more simpler and cheaper. Now, basically what this does for A-B testing, if you're not familiar with the concept of A-B testing, basically it's kind of like duplicating, let's say you have a page, you're duplicating a page, you're changing one parameter, let's say you change the, the color of the button from green to red, and then half of the traffic will go there, half of the traffic will go to the second option, and then you can start kind of testing each other which one performs best. Now, Crazy Egg has a very very, very simple kind of a no code interface. You can see this here on my screen. Basically, you would choose something and then you can change the text, you can change the color. You don't have to recode your website basically just by having their snippet of code in your website. You can make changes like this. You can change the label on the buttons, their, you know, their their color, all these different changes and then test out. Now one thing about A-B testing is you do need a certain amount of traffic because if you only have like 10, 20 people coming into your website, the, the tests are not gonna be kind of statistically valid. So you need to have at least thousands of people um, coming into each, you know, each one of the variation that you create in order for this to be statistically valid. But this is, so kind of looking at the three, at the three uh, tools that I talked about kind of shows you the process about how you improve the user experience. First, you need to grab the data. You, you understand the current situation um, from your analytics. You understand the numbers. Then you need to come up and form an hypothesis about how you're gonna actually improve this or why this actually is happening. You do this by actually looking at what people are doing using a tool like, you know, uh, Full Story, which is my favorite. There are other tools like Hotjar that do exactly that as well and might be actually uh, cheaper. So you might want to check something like Hotjar. Then you see what people are actually doing and you come up with an hypothesis. Hey, how about if we change this or if we move this, I think the, the things will improve. Um, and then you actually go to something like an A-B testing tool, like Crazy Egg, you make this experiment, you make the change in the user experience, and then again, you test out, you see if this actually improves the situation. Doing this over the long term um, is hugely valuable. And as I said um, in the beginning, this is where the, I feel like the real value lies. If you want to provide more value for your business or for your client's business, running this process with them is something that you can charge even more than actually just setting up and building the website or product initially. Hope this was useful. If you like this video, make sure, of course, that you like it or share it or let me know in the comments if you have suggestions for other tools or which one is your favorite tool. And I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.